Hey, this is Mark Moore, aka Tuxedo Mark, in various places on the internet. It's 1.35 p.m., just as I hit record, on Monday, June 22nd, 2015. And this is my reaction to Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Crystal, Episode 24, Black Lady. Um, as usual, I had read the corresponding act in the manga. Uh, prior to watching this episode, and again, it's, you know, 90-something percent accurate. Um, let's see. Okay, um, in no particular order, flashback to younger Pluto, when she was a little girl, and, uh, Neo Queen Serenity was telling either her, or maybe it was Queen Serenity, I'm not sure, was telling her the three taboos, like, the three things to, like, never, ever do. Um, don't use your powers. Okay, what's the point of having them, then? Um, don't let, don't, uh, yeah, don't, don't, well, no, she didn't say don't use your powers. She said don't let anyone time travel. Don't, um, I think it was don't abandon your post. And the third one, and she doesn't say what the third one is, I think the third one is don't stop time or don't use your powers of time or whatever. Uh, which I think she's going to do at the beginning of the next episode because <laughs> there's this funny thing where it's like Black Lady gets the two silver crystals from the present and the future and, and then Prince Diamond swipes them. Yeah, Prince Diamond wasn't under Wise Man's control. He was faking. It turns out that that third eye that Wise Man had given him protected him against being brainwashed. Oh boy. Uh, hang on. Kichi wants out. Kichi, you want to be in my lap? There you go. Alright. Um, so, <laughs> it's kind of uh, funny. So, Diamond actually killed Sapphire because Sapphire was given these huge claws or whatever by Wise Man. But Sapphire's brainwashed. So, Diamond kills him and it's like nothing. He doesn't even. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Um, okay, uh, what else? So Pluto shows up in Crystal Tokyo at the end of the episode because Diana came and talked her into going to help. And she, it's such a sweet scene. Diana, the little kitty, um, says she'll look after the door of time. She, she'll, she'll guard, uh, in, uh, Pluto's place. What else? Um... The other Sunshu were pretty much useless in this episode. They didn't attack. They didn't do anything. They got, like, held in place by these black things. A third malefic black crystal appeared in Crystal Tokyo, so things are getting serious, right? Um. Oh. <laughs> black Lady, aka Chibi Usa, aka. Usagi and Mamoru's daughter kisses Mamoru in front of Usagi. She's like, mmm. It's like, okay, she's kissing her dad. <laughs> that is, wow. Anyway, um, <laughs> incest. <laughs> but anyway, she sends Mamoru to swipe the silver crystal from, his, from Sailor Moon. Mamoru does so, and she detransforms back into Usagi. <laughs> so then it's just like, you know, swiping the silver crystals and stuff like that. Kind of funny, I guess. Oh, a uh, wise man reveals himself to, ble to be the planned nemesis itself. Yeah, when a wise man had been exiled there, you know, centuries ago, over the passage of time, he... His consciousness merged with the planet itself. Yeah, you see his glowing eyes coming from the planet. It's really, 
he is the planet. I, I think it had been changed in the original anime. I, I don't remember this from the original anime. But, um... Uh, where did Kichi... Oh, here's Kichi. And, um... So, yeah. Wise Man is the planet. Okay, so now they're gonna have to deal with a giant planet. Uh... Oh, by the way, that thing... That warning from King and Dimian many episodes ago that they can't be in Crystal Tokyo with their future selves because then they'll, they'll fade from existence or whatever. Yeah, that was never brought up again after that episode. It's like, it's gone. They've been in the 30th century. They are in the 30th century and nothing, there's no ill consequences whatsoever. Okay, so Usagi's doing her magic or whatever. She's starting to use her power in the 30th century, even though her crystal from the present isn't supposed to work in the 30th century. But whatever, she's making it happen. But now, Prince Diamond wants to mer wants to touch the two crystals together and annihilate all of space and time and everything, all of existence. He's like, I'm taking you all with me. Ah. Slow mo, and everyone's reacting. No one's doing anything. But yeah, so that that's where we leave off. Um, also, um, slight difference from the manga, but Wise Man's corpse had been an actual skeleton in the comic, and now it's just like. It's a corpse with, like, I guess still some kind of flesh on it. It's, it's weird. It doesn't even look like a real body. But anyway. Uh, so, two episodes left. Confirmed. To finish out uh, the Black Moon arc. This episode... Uh, l l let me check the original series episode guide really quickly yeah right and uh, we shall see what the um, equivalent episode from uh, Sailor Moon R was if there really was one um, Sapphire dies, Wise Man's Trap. That episode originally aired in Japan on February 19th, 1994. That was episode... Let me see. This thing will cooperate. It said episode 41, according to this episode guide, of Sailor Moon R, which would make it episode 87 of the anime series overall. And of the Black Moon arc, the, re the return, not the returns portion, the romance portion of Sailor Moon R, that would be as if it was episode 28 I'd say that that seems to be where we are because that's the episode where Sapphire died um, in the original anime there were two episodes left and there's two episodes left here as well uh, So, yeah, I guess that's where we're at in the original anime. Um, 
But yeah, overall, it, it's a good episode. It's a nice animation. Um, I particularly like this one shot of Black Lady. She looked really sinister. But, um... I just wish there was confirmation of the next season. I want the Outer Senshi. I mean, we have Pluto, but I want the rest of the Outer Senshi. Anyway, um... So, two episodes left. We'll see what happens. And, uh... It's 1.45 p.m. and that's it. Thanks for watching.